We'll start our adventure with the MapKit framework with a simple application that displays the current user location called Where Am I? In order to do that, let's start Xcode. We create a new project, which again is a single view application. We enter the application name. The first thing to do is to go to the Capabilities tab in order to enable Map Support. Once we've got Map Support, we can add the Map Controller to the View Controller. We look for the element which will display maps on the list of controls. As we can see, it's more or less in the middle of it. We drag MapKit view to the view. We adjust its size so that it displays on a full screen. We set the constraints. We can already try to launch such a map. After starting it in the simulator, we get a map of Poland displayed. It's also centered in a certain way based on the user location. However, the user location isn't marked. Their accurate position their accurate position isn't tracked as well. In order to do it, we'll have to request access to the current user location. To do so, we have to modify the info.plist file by adding a new entry. We right-click the empty place and choose Add Row. Now we must also enter the key, which will be responsible for the use of the user location in the when in use mode. It's the NS location when in use usage description key. The description may be, for instance, because I need it. What now? Now we need to ask the user if he or she actually allows us to use the location. We can always undo the permission to use the location in the application settings. But for now, we have to request it. We should access the CL Location Manager object. As we can see, there are no prompts visible, so we need to import the right framework to our view controller, that is, the core location. We have to get or create a new location manager object. Attention now. Since the method we'll call on the CL Location Manager displays a window, we have to make sure that this Location Manager is available for as long as we need the window to be displayed. In other words, the window is to display in a separate thread, so to speak. The call of the display for this query window doesn't cause the code execution to stop at a given place. That's why, Whenever we reach the end of the block, the variable we created disappears for some reason. They lose their strong reference and get removed. The window we displayed disappears as well. It takes place practically in an instant. Due to this, we have to make sure that we have a constant reference to such a manager. That's why we have to create a field 
in the view controller, which we'll assign our object to. Now we request it. The name of the field is CL question mark dot request always authorization. Now let's check whether everything is all right, and then we start the application. We have a created location manager, which will be assigned to the field in the view controller. We have a typo in this location manager because it should be request when in use authorization, meaning whenever we want to use it and not always. Now let's see what the info.plist file looks like. Here we have a second typo. It should be when in use, not when I use. We start the application. Notice how there is a question on top of the map whether to allow the application to access the current location. We can allow or deny it. Obviously, we click allow. Now, if the application is on, it's able to trace our location. Now we'll make our location visible on the screen. To do so, we need to access the map view object, so we must create the relevant outlet, which will guarantee this access. Even though this outlet still requires importing MapKit, we can apply several changes to it. Specifically, we set an option that allows us to show the user and we'll change the way the map is displayed. Let's look at the fields we have in the map view. The field we want to change is the show user location. We set its value to true. Now we have the effect of a simulated user location on the map. This simulated user location significantly differs from the one you currently have. It will be a position in an entirely different place in the world. As we can see, a dot near Los Angeles appears. We also make another modification to make the map follow the user. To do so, we need to use the user tracking mode field, setting its value, for instance, to mkusertrackingmode.follow. This change will automatically center our map and zoom it to the current user location. We see that the simulator not only simulates the fixed user location, but also his or her movement. It will come in handy in the next example.